Welcome to this week's Spelling Netcast. Whoa! Oh, just kidding. Just bumping the desk. All right. So, make sure you are ready because this is going to help you better be a better reader and a better writer and better to help you communicate. The important thing that we want you to understand is spelling helps you communicate better. Maybe not in speech, but if you know what a word means and you can recognize it, it will help you as you become a better reader and a better writer. And we do like to read, and we read all the time, so we got to know what these words mean. It's also good with jokes, because if you use a word in a different way, in a sentence, sometimes that kind of means something different than what you're trying to say, and it kind of becomes funny. So that's something you can do a little bit later. All right, but make sure you got your pencil. Make sure you got your glue, your glue, or I mean your scissors with the uh, round tip. Make sure that you have a zip top bag ready to go to keep your words in. Your spelling book, and of course, your spelling words. And once you get these, you'll notice there's going to be a couple down here on the bottom. I do want you to keep those because I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to write something on these. All right. So let's go ahead and cut this out and we'll get started on this. Now, this one is called multiple alterations. And what is an alteration? An alteration is changing something making something a little bit different. It's altering it. So if you alter um, your clothes, uh, then that means you change what they look like. It's not changing the clothes each day, it's changing what they look like. And so if I have my, my pants altered at the bottom, that means they're gonna either let them out or they're going to sew them so that they're a little higher. That's an alteration. And so when we do this, I'm actually going to cut this out like this at the bottom so that we can write our extra words on here. And that's what we're going to start with today. But I'm going to cut these out into three. And we're going to look at these words because you're going to notice that there are some similar words on here. And that's what, they, and that's what we're going to be talking about is alterations. So go ahead and cut these out. And once we get these cut, I want you to go ahead and lay them and say them outside of your um, your book. You don't have to you don't have to group them or anything. Just lay them out so you can get this done quickly. All right. Make sure you're saying them. And if you're not sure how to say them, that's okay. Just make sure that you show that word to um, your teacher, or if you're at home, go ahead and show it to your mom or dad or brother or sister, or if your dog talks, go ahead and, and ask him or her. All right. Um, if you do have access to the internet and your parents let you, sometime, well, you can get on a, a website that shows different words, and sometimes it'll even read it to you. And if you do have a, a phone, you could probably ask your phone to say the word for you. Can you say this word? You know, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But we're going to try this with multiple alterations. I'm going to rip this off on the top here. And it looks like I've got enough space that I don't have to trim it. So I'm going to put this across the top. All right. And alterations, remember, alterations are changes. Changes. So we're going to put changes. Okay. Multiple alterations or changes in a word. So we're going to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to put you, I'm going to put something on here. And the reason I'm going to put them on here is because the, these words aren't part of your vocabulary here, but I do want you to notice this. I do want you to notice this. All right. So I'm going to put a word that and I want you to write this out here also. I am P U N I T Y. Impunity. Impunity. 
All right. The next word I'm going to put on here is P U N I S H, punish. And then the last word we're going to put impugn. I M P U G N, impugn. All right. Oh, sorry. We're going to get rid of that one. I don't want that one. We're just going to do impunity and punish. Get rid of this one. Throw it away. Boom. All right. Now let's cut those two words out. And this is what I want you to notice. And this is the tricky thing. And it's not so tricky with the rest of these words, but I want you to notice this. Pun impunity and punish are actually related on each because... Punish means what? What does punish mean? Um, to get in trouble? Um, if we look this up into the dictionary, P-U-N-I, P-U-N-I, punish. To impose a penalty on for a fault or crime. Okay? And that was, is what punish means. Now, if I go back into my dictionary and I looked up impunity, I-M-P-U-N-L-M-N, impun, impul, impunity, means without punishment. So M means without, punitive or punish, P-U-N, means punish, so I am means without. So these are related because this is without punishment, and this means to punish. So let's write this up here, and this is how I want you to write these words. Impunity dash punish. Because these are multiple alterations. These are the same kind of words. They're just altered to mean a little bit different. All right, I'm going to put those in my zip top bag because you will use those again later. So let's get another word out here. Let's start with um, spirituality. Let's do that. Spirituality, spirituality, and there's our main thing. So impune, pune, punish, punity, okay, spirituality. There's two other versions of this word. And what is our main word? Our main word is spirit. S-P-I-R-I-T. Spirit. 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 And there's one other one on here. And it's right here. Spiritual. So there's spirit. And they all are forms of the same word. That's what the alteration is, is we've got spirit, we've got spiritual, and spirituality. So there's three things, but they all have to do with this word right here, spirit. That is the main word. Just like punish, the main word is P-U-N, P-U-N there, punish, not or without punish, spirituality, spirit, Spiritual, spirituality. So, interesting. It means to be with spirit. To be, or, and this changes the form of the word. So, what I want you to do is I want you to look at these. And I want you to write them in their different um, groups across. So find each one of them. Some of them will only have two. Some of them will have three. You need to find out what they are. And then look at the changes that are in them. So from spirit to spiritual to spirituality. And I want you to kind of find out what do those things mean. So that means a little vocabulary also. Um, you don't have to write them down, but I want you to know and I want you to see. I want you to understand that some of these words that we have in the English language are so amazing because we can change, just by changing some letters, we change the whole meaning of a word. 
Words are so sweet and so cool. I want you to understand that. So what I want you to do is I want you to finish this, write them out on the lines, find out what they are. So your sort this week is to bring them together and know kind of what the, uh, the changes are in them, all right? And that the meaning changes also. All right, so do your best, have fun, and we'll talk to you later. Well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you will, maybe you will. I don't know. If you're in my class, then I'll talk to you later. If you're not in my class, you'll have to watch a video so I can talk to you later, but you won't be able to talk to me. Uh, whatever. Okay. Have a good day, though. No matter who you are, have a good day.